In this problem, we want to find the current I. And we want to do that by finding the feminine, re feminine equivalent of everything to the left of these terminals. And once we've done that, then we can use that simple circuit to go ahead and find the current I. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the 6 ohm resistor out of there. And then we can find the resistance looking into the terminals as the thevenin resistance. So this is uh, so-called look-back resistance technique. And we need to disable all of our sources. So we'll zero those out, meaning that we replace the current source by an open circuit and re replace the 12 ohm I'm sorry the 12 volt source by a short circuit now we observe that 6 ohm and 12 ohm are in parallel with each other and the parallel combination of those is 4 ohms leaving us with two series connected devices which is 8 ohms. So the Thevenin resistance by the look back method is 8 ohms. Let's go ahead and pull up the original circuit again. So now we need to find the open circuit voltage, which we know is the same thing as the Thevenin voltage, which is the other half of what we need. Um, at this point, you just try to figure out what seems to be the easiest method to apply. Um, I notice that the circuit becomes pretty simple to deal with if we look at each source considered ind independently. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try the superposition method. And the first circuit will be based on the 12 volt source being active. So that means we need to set the current source to zero, effectively open circuiting that. So I'll call this VOC subscript 12, saying that's the contribution due to the 12 volt source. Um, since we've got zero current there, it means we've got zero current through the 4 ohm resistor. Zero volts across means we can replace that by a short. So now if we could find the voltage across the 12 ohm resistor, we'd be all set. We could just add that to the 12 volt source right here. So let me make a quick little single mesh analysis there where we would take 6i plus 12i plus 12 equals 0. So that means we've got I times 18 is minus 12 volts. Or solving for I, we've got minus 12 over 18, which is 2 thirds of an amp, or same thing as minus 667 milliamps. So by that definition, let me write it on the other side here, I think. We've got our current entering the, our current I entering the top, so that says this voltage is supposed to be 12 times minus 667 milliamps, which leads to minus 8 volts. So based on these definitions, the voltage rise going from B to A could be found as the same as the voltage rise over here. So we've got a rise of 12 volts and a rise of minus 8 volts. So open circuit voltage due to the 12 volt source acting alone is 4 volts. 
So let's go back to the original circuit so we can then find the open circuit voltage due to the 3 amp source. So set that to 0 volts means replace it by uh, short circuit. Uh, we can simplify the circuit by noticing the parallel combination of 6 and 12 ohms. And that's 4 ohms. Let's do that substitution. And I neglected earlier to write down that was the open circuit voltage due to the 3 amp source acting alone. So combine those series devices into a single equivalent 8 ohm resistor next. So at this point, the problem is pretty simple. We can do uh, 24 volts is applied across the series combination of 8 and 6. So that's 28 over 14, which is